In this DaVinci Resolve 18 tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can balance your shots. In this video, I will try to approach several techniques that I can help you in your day to day. We are going to start by creating a node and name it Exposure. We also activate the scopes so we can analyze the image in more detail. I like to use the waveform with just the luminance. To do that, we press the Y. Now we will expose our image correctly. We can do that in the HDR color wheels tool in the globe exposure or we can use the offset in the primaries. In my case, I will lower the luminance of my image and decrease the contrast and pivot point and raise in the gain. After that, we will adjust the temperature and tint of our image. We can get a good result, but I prefer to balance it with the offset. Because the temperature and tint just adjust between cool and warm, a green and magenta. Analyzing the parade, we see that the blue channel is a little more lifted than the others. And this means that the blacks are not pure. One of the techniques I like to use is to isolate a part of the image that we know is totally black. Let's create a mask and analyze the parade. If you look closely, the channels are not totally aligned. So the black is not totally black. We can adjust in the lift or in the bars. Let's set the luma mix to zero to be able to move only the channels, ignoring the luminance. Then adjust the channels and we can delete the window. In my case, the difference is minimal. But in many image, this correction needs to be made. Next, I will create a node with the shortcut Alt S on Windows and Option S on Mac. And I will name it Skin. I will again create a window to better analyze the skin tone. Let's analyze it with a better scope. I'm going to select Show Skin Tone Indicator. This line means that most of the use of the skin tones should be very close to this line. To better analyze the highlights, I will select the high type of the better scope. I feel that the skin tone is too blue, so I go to the gain and pull a little bit towards the orange. It looks much more natural. If in your better scope is not too light, we can go here to the better scope settings and make it lighter. If you do on and off, we'll see that we are already a big difference. Now to contrast a bit the warmth that we added in the gain, I will offset it to the opposite side in shadows. I will leave this image on the link in the description of this video for you to test. Next, I will do another example how we can check if your image is well balanced. I will create a new node and put in monochrome in RGB mixer. And now in the gallery, I'm going to do a grab steel. Now let's reset this node and let's compare the black and white with your image. As you can see, the blacks are really black. I think in the darker tones, we still have too much saturation and I want to make the skin tone more natural, but keep the look minimal warm. Let's hear the curves and when the loom verse set, click on this little back ball and go down this point here. Now I will make more adjustments, one I will be on the color of highlights, also on the skin tone that is a little orange. Let's start by going to the log wheels and you can see here we can adjust the color of highlights. A great technique is to use a ray range to determine how far we want the highlights to be affected. Notice how the nails look more natural. We can also put a vignette by selecting a window circle and adjusting the model's face. In this icon here, we invert the mask to affect only what is around what we select, and we lower the gain and gamma a little bit. When it comes to skin tone, I also like to soften the skin tone a little bit, and for that, I'm going to select with the skin tone qualifier. I will be quick because the subject of this video is not qualifier. 
and I will soon release a new video dedicated only to the qualifier. In mid-tone detail, I will lightly fade down on skin tone detail to make it smoother. As you can see, the skin tone is slightly orange. For that, we will correct the yellow here. Let's go to the skin tone and with the pipette, we'll select and automatically in the curve view, we we'll start the exact point where the color is selected. Let's go down and increase a little bit the other points. In this video, I try to approach several techniques that can help you in your day to day. If you like it, leave your like and subscribe. You can also contact me if you have any questions. Hope you like it and see you next video. Thank you.